Lazark sits on the edge of the Vanoise National Park in the Savoie region of France, two and a half hours from three international airports, Lyon, Grenoble and Geneva, and only two hours from Chambry Airport. If you're travelling from London though, then you can take the Eurostar sleeper train. The train arrives in Bourg saint maurice the town that lies in the valley below Lazark, and from here you can take the Arc en Ciel directly to Arc 1600 in just seven minutes. City to slopes with no check-ins, no queues and no taking your belt and shoes off at security gates. Hassle-free and environmentally friendly. Lazark is not one town, but four purpose-built ski villages. The oldest and lowest of these is Arc 1600. Originally conceived by Robert Blanc at Borg Summaries Local, and built in 1968, Arc 1600 was the cutting edge when it opened. Ski-in, ski-out accommodation built into the hillside. It was the template for most purpose-built ski towns that followed throughout the 60s and 70s. As innovative as it was back then, these days Arc 1600 looks very dated. Space station style apartments that look like they came straight from the pages of Dan Dare make up the centre of the village. And while it remains ski in, ski out and has lifts connecting you to the enormous Parada ski area, it's not very pretty. However, it is a good destination for families with young children as there are good childcare facilities here and its compact size and convenient location makes it easy to get to and move around. The next village to be built was Arc 1800. As its name suggests, it sits 200 metres higher than its little brother and is the largest and liveliest of the arcs. Arc 1800 is dominated by large apartment blocks that split the village into four sectors. To be honest, it doesn't matter which of these sectors you're staying in, as the boundaries between them are not clearly defined, and the village is small enough that you can walk or even ski across it in a few minutes. Eighteen hundred is the most centrally located of the villages, and offers the easiest access to Paisley Ballandry and La Plan, as well as the rest of the Lazark area, with the Transarc bubble and Vagere and Villard's chairlift running straight out of the village itself. Like Arc 1600, there are a few shops here, mostly ski shops and supermarkets. The centre of the shopping area does have a sunny terrace, where the liveliest bars are grouped together. In the late season, this is a popular hangout for an at brisky beer and snack, a local favourites like the Red Hot Saloon Bar and Barking Mad. The highest of the original resorts is Arc 2000. Like the two resorts below, it's by no means a beautiful resort station, but a collection of apartment blocks built back in the days when Roger Moore was still James Bond and fashions and architecture were quite different from what they are today. Sitting on the other side of the valley from Arc 1600 and Arc 1800, Arc 2000 enjoys superlative access to the mighty Agri Rouge, and like 1600 and 1800 below, it has its own shops and a few bars. The newest of the arcs is Arc 1950. This was built in 2008 by the company behind Whistler, Mammoth and Mont Tremblant. North American resort maestro's intra-west. It sits just below Arc 2000 at the foot of the Agri Rouge. At first glance it looks like a fairy tale village, complete with traditional alpine stylings and colourful shop fronts. The centre of Arc 1950s is always covered in snow, effectively pedestrianising the whole village. All cars in the resort are stored safely below the buildings in a warren of car parks. This is easily the prettiest of the arcs, and it offers the best shops, restaurants and apartments and hotels. Aside from a few parts of Arc 1950, Les Arcs is not a luxury ski resort. The buildings in 1600, 1800 and 2000 are at best unusual and at worst ugly. 
There is quite a lively and youthful atmosphere in Arc 1800, and there are some very comfortable apartments and hotels in 1950, but it's not the villages that you would visit as Arc for. The beauty of this resort is not in its architecture, but its location and its surroundings. Lazark boasts one of the best ski areas in the Alps, and when added to La Plan, it's also one of the biggest. Nearby, you can ski in the Three Valleys or the Espascalie, but the Paradis Ski is equal, if not better, than both of these areas, and it's cheaper. It's here you'll find one of France's top freestyle parks, as well as the home of halfpipe world champion Kevin Roland. One of the longest pistes in France runs from the top to the bottom of Lazark, and from here you can ski the north face of the Belcot, one of the best off-piste routes in the region. Beginners and families are also well catered for in Lazark, with compact towns that are child-friendly and easy to move around. At first glance, Lazark might not look like a great resort, but looks can be deceiving. This is a well-priced ski resort with some of the biggest, most varied and interesting terrain that you'll find anywhere in the Alps.